just finishing the school day. You were packing up your bags, placing your binder in your backpack to finish. Closing your bag quickly, at the sound of the bell, you stood up, with your bag walking out of class. As you walked out, you spotted your friend Kit. Kit stood there, looking like she was looking for someone, which she was. Instantly, she spotted you. Quickly, she ran over to you, smiling. Hey, listener, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. What? No. Come on, it doesn't matter if the bell just rang. Jeez. Whatever. Anyway, you're walking me home today. Remember? After yesterday, I just don't feel safe. I just wanted to say I really appreciate you taking me home. I think it's really sweet of you. I wonder if it's because you have a crush on me. <laughs> I know you don't. I'm just kidding, silly. I really appreciate it. You taking me home. More than anything. Again... Thank you. Oh, I wanted to ask you if you wanted something for taking me home. I can pay you something. Seriously? Come on. I'm not trying to be rude. I already know your family's struggling. So come on. Just accept the money. $50 isn't much to me at all. You know this. I, my family's crazy rich for no reason. They spoil me rotten. I don't really appreciate it. But this is what it is. I might as well go ahead and offer what I can. I know you don't like handouts. So, think of this as paying you for your services. Okay? Well, thank you for accepting it. I really appreciate it. No, seriously. It gives me more peace of mind. Knowing you, I can uh, help you out. Little by little. You know? Well, that sounds wonderful. Well, we don't have to worry about you taking me home until the end of school. Unless... <gasps> uh -huh. You want to skip? <laughs> I was just joking. Come on. Let's go eat lunch now, okay? The two of you walked to lunch together. Her skipping by your side. Ooh, I wonder what they have for lunch today. Oh, I've been looking forward to lunch. I am actually starving. Just a bit, you know? I know I get hungry easily. And pretty fast, too. Yeah, I noticed that about you. You don't like to eat a lot. You don't really eat at all. Or if not at all. Come on. Will you eat for me today? I would really appreciate it if you ate today for me. Really? That makes me so happy. I guess it makes it better if you're a little hungry anyways. Yeah, it does. Seriously? You have no idea how happy it makes me. Afterwards, you two grabbed your lunch, taking it to the table. You both ate quietly. It seemed like there was a lot on Kit's mind. But you didn't dare to ask her. Alright. It seems like it's time to go to class. I'm gonna go ahead of you. I'll see you after class, okay? You agreed and went to class. Class seemed to pass by a lot faster than usual. Going on your day, 
You daydream, thinking about Kit. Before you knew it, the bell rung. You smiled, grabbing your stuff like you did before. This time, you left class quicker. And ran to the location to meet Kit. Hey. That was faster than usual. Are you sure you don't have a crush on me? <laughs> I'm starting to think you do. Doing all this for me. You were such a sweetheart. You were so sweet. <laughs> Alright. I got everything I need. Let's go ahead and go. Okay? You both walked side by side. She skipped next to you. Oh, me? <laughs> I'm just really happy. I don't have to walk home today. Encounter any weird people. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. You taking me home. You both got in the car. She leaned back and relaxed in her chair. You pulled up her address on the GPS and started driving towards her house. So, what you gonna do when you get home? I'm gonna relax, prepare for something, and take a nap. No, I'll be staying up all night doing the thing I'm preparing for. No! I can't tell you, it's a surprise. If I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> well, darn. Well, it's fine. It's the weekend anyway. Don't mind that. So, what are you going to do when you get home? Oh, just relax. Oh, that sounds really nice. I'm glad you're going to relax. I really do hope you enjoy yourself today. Mmm, you always overwork yourself and it really worries me sometimes, you know? I care about you. Uh, oh, we're already here, aren't we? I'm not used to that. I'm used to walking and taking a lot longer. I just wanted to say I really appreciate you being here for me and taking me home. I care about you a lot. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much for taking me home. I will see you later, love. <laughs> love. What a silly word. I'll see you later. With that, she closed the car door. Going up to her door, unlocking it and walking inside. With that, you drove off. With it in your mind, Kit called you love. That flustered you more than usual. However, it was Kit. She always made you flustered. You get home, changing out of your school clothes. After taking a shower, changing into your pajamas. Watching anime, you'd go and relax with a nice pizza oven and then proceed to go to bed. In bed, you thought about Kit and how she called you love. Maybe going ahead and asking her out wasn't quite as much as a bad idea as you thought. Maybe she was into you, you thought. You went ahead, deciding to ask her out tomorrow morning. Then you fell asleep. Something felt cold on your skin. You were wondering what it was. You try to move a little. Moving whatever it was. Your assumption was that it was your phone. However, you thought it was really weird because you'd place it on your bedside table. Opening your eyes. You were hit with so much light. Why didn't you notice the light? There was no real answer. You tried to move more, yet you couldn't. When you finally opened your eyes fully, you noticed you were in a chair. A wooden chair, chained up. That's what you felt. Chains. 
That was a relief. Or was it? <gasps> Love. Hey. There you are. I was wondering when you'd wake up. Oh. You're so cute when you wake up. Did you know you snore? Oh. It's so cute. Oh. <laughs> where are we? Oh, baby. We're in my basement. <laughs> Don't you recognize it? You helped me paint it. <laughs> Every single wall by my side. Right there is where you held my hand, pressed against me. And showed me how to paint properly. <laughs> well, this is such a good idea. Wasn't it? This was a fantastic idea. You know, it was almost... Well, except they're chaining you apart. Oh, that really sucks. I'm so sorry. I promise it won't happen anymore. <laughs> well, you know, I was thinking about you being my personal person. Person, my person. Maybe? I don't know. I actually am really in love with you. Did you know that? <laughs> Come on. Come on, answer me. Did you not know one bit? Come on, love. Love. You had to, didn't you? Oh, you made so many advances towards me. No one can ignore anything you threw at them. You know that, right? With your charming eyes and soul. Oh. That soul I've wanted to touch so badly. Every single inch of you. Oh my. I think I may have gone too far. Maybe demonetize myself. Too. Oh, you know what? That's fine. As long as you're pleased. You know, you're... The most important person to me in my life. Come on. I think you should know. You're gonna be in here for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, you don't want to be in here for a very long time. Come on. <laughs> You're lying. You want to spend the rest of your life with me. Don't you? You can't lie to me. If you keep lying to me like this, you'll just hurt yourself. You know this. So why don't you go ahead? Fix yourself before you wreck yourself in more ways than one. You know what? You don't really have a choice either way, right? Look at you. You're in those chains. Oh, come on, all you need to do is say you love me. Oh. I will save you from all those lies you weave. Come on, just say you love me. All you need is three words. Just three words. Come on, I love you. <gasps> yes, that is exactly what I needed. Oh, baby, I love you so very, very much. More than anything. Oh, yes. You know what's fun? Even if I get you out of those chains, you are all mine. I put a chip in you and it electrocutes you. Whenever I'd like. Oh, maybe... In the most painful area 
possible. But it makes sure you see Drain to be mine. She went ahead, pressing her fingers to your lips, dragging downwards. And you know what? I'm gonna have so much fun with you. My boy, my love, my darling. My love, my everything. Trust me. Don't be scared, okay? Just give in. I've planned this for months. A year, maybe. Taking care of everything, so just breathe. And love me. I'll show you what love is. Okay? Mm.